So when I first started the Burger Beast blog, I reached out uh, to someone and I told them, hey man, check out my blog. And uh, it turns out it was George Motes, the, the writer of uh, Hamburger America. Uh, I'm a big fan of his. This is like my Bible. And he's got a new show on Travel Channel called Burgerland. And he's next on The Grinder. So George, welcome to Miami, man. Hey, thanks for having me on your show. <laughs> I always wondered, I always wanted to ask you, how many burgers have you had? Lifetime. Lifetime? Uh, I probably, in the last 20 years, I've probably consumed close to 13,000 burgers. My no guess. way. Yeah, yeah, and I've, obviously the more I do, the more research I've done in the last couple of years, the more burgers I've eaten. I mean, I, I've, I go on research trips where sometimes I'll eat 15 in a day. But you eat the full burger or just a couple of No, burgers? it depends. I mean, if it's a small burger, I'll have one or two of them. Uh, if it's a big burger, a half pound burger, I'll usually eat three quarters of it. Sometimes I eat the whole thing. It depends, you know. It depends on how many I'm eating that day. If I'm having, you know, only two burgers a day and they're they're both one pound burgers, I'm eating the whole thing. So, what's the best burger you ever had? So, I'm talking lifetime. Ooh. So, it could be a place that's shut down. Or, and I know you you're kind of touchy subject, but all right, let's get let's get nostalgic. Well, let's put it what this about way. a best burger of a place that doesn't exist anymore? That's actually a really good point. One of the best burgers, wow, that have that's gone now, probably Jay's J Burger. Unbelievable, and it's such a shame because they actually used chili on that burger was the original chili recipe from Tommy's, which I don't right. think they use anymore. And that was an incredible burger. But it's gone. It's been gone for about ten years now. You know, it's fu it's funny you bring that up because remember a few weeks ago I was trying to be a smart ass with him, and I and I and I, I think I emailed you and I said uh, I just wanted to see if you know what Jay's J Burgers were, and you of course sent me a picture like you had been there yeah, and yeah, a picture yeah. of the place. Right. So I felt like a you know. A <laughs> <laughs> I, I have, in, in my iPad, I probably have, I have 17,000 photos in my iPad. That's ridiculous. Easily really? 15,000 of them are burger related. So what we've got now is this uh, segment called the mailbag. You've got mail. So this is from Michelle in Hollywood. And uh, she wants to know if there's plans in the works for a Hamburger America 2 documentary. Document, uh, you know, <laughs> yes, there, there were plans. Then I started working on the TV show Burgerland, and that has now taken off, and it's become a big part of my uh, time right now. And it could have been Hamburger America Dos, and you could have done Fritas only. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really true. Yeah, yeah between, El, between, El, idea, yes, El Mor right. between uh, Moral Castle, yeah. between, um, mm -hmm. uh, all, I mean, how many places have we gone to now? Yeah, you just kind of brought up a second ago, now you got the show on Travel Channel, right? Uh, Burgerland, so what, well, tell us a little bit about it. We're, doing, we're shooting uh, 11 episodes right now. And uh, we shot two episodes as a pilot, so those are being thrown into the season now. So it's actually a 13-episode season, and they're going to run them all between, I th they think, between April or May and th into the summer. Burgerland is the name of the show, but why not Hamburger America? I wonder why you just didn't decide to go. We, you know, the, uh, I decided to keep the franchise separate from the show because there's a lot going on with, with the franchise right now. Hamburger America, that is. Because we have a book. We mean the collective we would mean. <laughs> I have a book. Uh, it's it's still the film Hamburger America. Uh, it's also it's part of the uh, Hamburger America Burger GPS app. So it's all that's all part of the, under the same same name Hamburger America. Believe it or not, I'm actually also working on a musical. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hamburger, Hamburger America the musical. Mm. It, it, we just started shopping it around, and my agents are working on it. I'm not, I'm not kidding at all. <laughs> we're, looking, is... we're looking for hey, if somebody's a writer out there, we're looking for a writer. Um, uh, but that's also going to be Hamburger America. That's what's key. Okay. So that's why I wanted to make sure that Travel Channel, you know, has their thing. They have Burgerland with me hosting it, but that, that Hamburger America itself is still unto itself a complete entity. So you're going to sing in this musical or not? No, I'm, I'm not going to sing. I'm just going to, I'm just going to <laughs> consult. What cities or which burger joints are you most excited to profile? So, I mean, you're, you're like, I can finally get this. Because I know we kind of talked about herbs. Right, right. Uh, in the story, and I know you're going to get herbs on there, and they possibly could be going out of business. Honestly, I got to be honest with you. The Frita experience in in Little Havana and Miami, in South Florida, is one of the most exciting things we're working on for sure. I mean, the, what's going to happen is people are they're going to have to step outside their comfort zone in order to get a Frita and have a, have a great experience like that. So I, they, that's one of the best, I think, by far. You know, but you need to step outside your comfort zone and go have burgers that I recommend or. In this case, you <laughs> guess what time it is? What it's time, time is? for everyone's favorite segment, oh. Mary F. Kill. Uh, Mary F. I'm going to tell you three people, and you're going to tell me who you want to marry, who you oh, want to fuck, and who you want to kill. Okay. So we got uh, the, your choices are Ronald McDonald, <laughs> Ronald McDonald. Okay. That's right, Wendy, Wendy, <laughs> Wendy. Oh, Wendy. 
a Wendy's. I mean, she's got the nice little, you know, <laughs> and then you got the Burger King. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Ronald McDonald would be in the kill zone. <laughs> oh. um, I think Wendy would have to be in the F zone. <laughs> and what was the other one? The Burger King. You're going to marry the king? I have to marry the king. Would that make you a queen? <laughs> <laughs> you saw yourself over there. I guess girl. so. Yeah. I wasn't going to marry the clown. So, right? <laughs> but if you fuck the clown, he's a little crazy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. So we got, uh, here's a, a little game I want to play with you. I mean, my trusty desk always comes into play and we're going to use it for something. So, so I was thinking, you're stranded on a desert island. Right. Right. And uh, you, you've run out of things to, to burn to keep yourself warm. So you got three books, and you're going to have to sacrifice <laughs> one of these books, and uh, you're going to use it to start a fire. Uh -huh. So are you going to use John T. Edge? Oh, absolutely not. Not, of course. That, that, I'm in that book. <laughs> are you going to use Bobby Flay's? No, I love Bobby. Are you going to use Joshua Zersky's? Never heard of him. Oh, never heard Yeah, I think, I never heard of him. I think we have to use that one, I think. You want me to rip some pages out? We can start. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guy like that. That, I, from what I understand, this makes a great fire starter. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kidding. Josh, I love you. I'm sorry. Most of the time. Josh, I don't know you. So. <laughs> He's made up becoming on the sorry. show now. <laughs> Another example, you're going to help some people uh, win some t-shirts at home. Okay. This is called the food exam. Woo! I'm going to give you some multiple choice okay. answers, and uh, you're going to tell the public what you think they should answer so they can win a t-shirt. They're going to be able to leave a comment below, and then we're going to pick uh, a winner. Okay, cool. The question is, what or who is a Juicy Lucy? So choice A, that was the most popular girl in your high school. <laughs> <laughs> B is La Hooker in Calle Ocho. <laughs> He's right at the end of the box. I've never, <laughs> I've never seen this woman. And a burger stuffed with cheese. So which one do you possibly think A, B, or C could be what a Juicy Lucy? I'm going to go with C. C, all right. Yeah. Well, you know, people at home, take your chances, leave your comments, and, you know, we'll find out. I mean, it's very difficult. That's, that's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> and I got one last thing for you. What sure. are the names of those little things that go on top of a Frida? They're called papitas. Oh, <laughs> damn it, you got it, man. <laughs> I was so sure you were going to get that right. I, I didn't get it right all week. <laughs> I, just, I just got it right for the first time. <laughs> Papusa, and what, I was calling uh, papusas, papusas, uh, papusi. And so what do you, so what do you call it? Uh, 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 yeah. No, that's what the girl at the end of the box. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's up with, uh, what's the juice called? The sugar juice. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to give you Spanish dust right the now. The sugar juice? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's called um, <laughs> guarapo. Whoa, man. <laughs> it's pretty good for end of the day here, right? Eh? And, and, and what's the name of the drink you had at Rey de la Frida, that, that white drink? I don't think White you're going to... Yeah, yeah. It was like a vanilla-based kind of oh, drink. Oh, malteada. Close enough. <laughs> what, was what was it? Malteada, yeah. Malteada. Yeah, you just said, you said it like a robot, but yeah. <laughs> well, I was trying you to... You said it like my iPhone. Right. Malteada. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it for today's show. We got... Uh, you can follow George, of course, on at Moats Burger. You can follow Chat Chow on at Chat Chow. And you can follow me on at Burger Beast. See you next time. Cool, man. That was fun. Right Thanks, on. man. Nice work.